Hi. Are you going to say something? You want to do this? You started off. I don't know what you're talking so, about. So, today on the news, um, poor people in Florida are getting plummeted with Hurricane Ian. And there was a news article, Apple News article, that came through on my phone. Joy Behar from The View was uh, pretty much insulting uh, DeSantis about how he doesn't know anything about the climate or anything that's going on with it, but she's making fun out of him because he called in the feds to help with the disaster and the aftermath help, care, pick up, whatever. FEMA. Mm hmm And, uh, it's ridiculing him about, you know, wanting the feds to help, but he's always quick to slam the feds and be who he is, but call him out for help when he needs his state to be helped. But it's not the same, though, is it, though? I... What? FEMA. FEMA's who comes by and helps clean up and but it's, helps it's, people. It's federally ran, right? I don't know. I'm not going to talk about something I don't know about, so. Yeah, I think it is. Either way, though, if Biden has his way because they don't get along with each other, he'll stop them from helping out. Mm-hmm. Yep, so I'm waiting for that to unravel. You know, my other problem is, too, like, I, we bitch about Biden all the time. I get it, you know. Uh, earned that right. He voted. Not for him. But all these people that bitch and complain about things about him, everyone forgets that the president works for us, so we don't work for him. We can go step in there and fire him anytime we want, but apparently people are too stupid to remember that or realize that. And so we're always stuck in a fucking vicious cycle that does nothing changes and it just gets worse um i seriously don't see biden at all if the hurricane really ends up being bad let's say like hurricane katrina was i don't see him rushing to florida's aid at all mm -mm. Nope. if it's a republican state i really don't think he's going to be helping he probably doesn't even know there's a hurricane going on he doesn't know a lot of shit. i mean yeah he did, I haven't even heard anyone say that he addressed it, that he was going to help. Did. He did. The only thing he told the Florida is like, get out now. That's all he said. <laughs> That's what we're all saying. But also remember what he said that in order, if you, if you are in an area that gets hit by hurricanes, the best way to prepare yourself is to get vaccinated. Well, let me be how clear. Does, how does that make sense? He's a fucking moron. How does that make sense? And I can even say he is. I feel sorry for the guy. It's not him. It's He's just the puppet. I. We were just watching something, and some blind guy was guiding him. Yeah, it's on the channel. And then they, they were telling him, okay, now turn left, look over here. He's totally directed in everything he does. Everything. I wonder if he's directed in how to wipe his ass. I, I'm sure... He probably doesn't even wipe his ass, probably just wears a diaper. I'm sure. And also in that video you see him last, or, you know, uh, saying Jackie's name, that Republican, that she died in a car accident two months ago. Well, that's like a clear sign of Alzheimer's when you're asking for people that aren't around anymore. Yeah. I mean, that's more than just forgetting. You're a president. You shouldn't forget things like that unless you have something wrong with you. Now they're saying Trump has dementia because he's been fumbling his speeches and everything like probably because he's so damn pissed off not people even get that. mad and fumble their words and it's like they're so quick to get on him for dementia but they refuse to see anything that fucking biden's doing and trump's <laughs> no longer our president we're more worried about someone else who did good for us while this oh. dipshit's in and he can barely even trump, utter out a word trump lives in the less head rent free they still can't get over him yeah. But anyway, that's me here or there, but So back to Florida and the hurricane, Adam and I were talking earlier about how um everyone's theory is that the government controls the weather. 
They do. Harp. That's well known. And how ironic DeSantis is getting up there and fighting with the feds and has his opinions and sides with Trump and all of a sudden his whole state's getting wiped out by a hurricane. Yes, you're right. It is hurricane season. I get that. But, I mean, if you really think about it, it could be a, a thing to think about. Wouldn't that make sense? I mean... No. <laughs> well, it's, if it's controlled by the government. Yes, but I don't think... I don't know. I mean, I personally don't think it is, but I'm just saying hypothetically, isn't it funny just how the conspiracy talk is that it is and the DeSantis the whole state's getting slammed and it's a slow moving hurricane, like slow. I mean, the only thing I could, you know, they kept talking about the whole 24th thing is going to be a day where people won't forget where they were. Yes, we needed it. That's why I wanted to come in here and talk about that. Everyone got all hyped up again. We told you nothing was going to happen. And you... Just a distraction to distract you from what's really going on in this come world. On. I mean, perfect timing. Good girl. Get your butt on camera. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I... I knew nothing was going to happen. Okay. Uh, I was going to get all of my money out of my bank. <laughs> Steven, this, this is what happens. Perfect example. When you I listen know. to TikTok and media and yeah. everything that, especially TikTok, what kind of reputable news source is that? It's a bunch of dumbass people that want attention and want views to start talking about something that's trending that they know nothing about. Did you hear that the UK is going to sue TikTok for uh, child pornography? They should. Allow it on TikTok? Yeah. So TikTok's getting sued by the UK. I, I come across on the For You page all the time. I'll just be scrolling. You know, I look for hilarious shit. And eventually it just turns into cancer and anxiety. And then they'll sprinkle these naked teenage girls from, like, African tribes that are just all over the place. Like, why? Who's doing this? Mm -mm. I don't see naked people in my... It's, I don't know why, page. but everyone's pissed off, but I am too. We've all tried, I've tried a couple times to report it, and it doesn't, nothing gets done about it. I don't see that. I don't see I'll, any I'll have to show you next time. I, shit in oh, my, okay. I, no, That's seriously. the one who looks at dudes working out all the time. If they're girls. Uh-huh. And they're guys that are training them. No, but I'll, I'll show you next time I come across one. It's just, why? I don't know who's doing it. Well, you that. had to have looked at something because, like, now, because I follow and I save a lot of the workout videos. I vids, save nothing and I follow no one. And I, I well, it's what you look at. I they, don't look at anything. I don't mm -hmm. go to anybody. I just have that for you page of scroll and everything. It's something new every time. Well, on that, I look for workout videos. I okay. search nothing at all. I forget half the time there's a search bar there. Huh. Except for this one video I just put up. I just typed in Biden. That's the only thing I did. Hmm. Yeah, I only work. I only watch food, nails, hair, and workout videos. Circuits, short circuits that they show you, like what areas to work. But I need to get rid of it all together. It's stupid. It's another brain numbing, mind controlling thing for these dumbasses that want to believe everything. So, anywho, but yeah, I knew nothing was going to happen on the twenty fourth. There was, and then. Something a little off topic. Did you guys see that asteroid vi video that we blew up? That looks so fucking fake. Come on. <laughs> Did you see it? Yes. I get those like frames CGI over. CGI stuff. Or what? CGI. CGI. Why did I say A? <sighs> anyway. That's supposed to be like time lapse videos. Even if it wasn't time lapse or taking pictures, if it's just like a straight. It looks so freaking fake. Come on. Yeah. I don't believe NASA at all. Never have. Just like doctors, I don't believe them at all. I'm with you. I don't know. That's for that Joy Behar. She was saying something like, isn't it socialism when you want the government to step in and help? Don't get off your fucking high horse, you dumbass. Why aren't you even retired yet? But if it was another state that's going to be devastated by a catastrophic... Yeah, if it was her town, I bet you it would be a different story. Yeah. Uh, she's such a twat. Excuse my language, cunt. She's a twat. And she needs to be stepped on. You step on twats? No, she just needs to be stepped on. Her head's too big. You need to squish her big old blown up head. 
She used to be nice when the view first came out. I used to like watching them, and then I turned it off. Oh, she got stupid. Of, they're all been stupid always, forever yeah. and always. Whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. So nothing happened on the 24th. Biden's an idiot. And Florida's getting plummeted by a hurricane. In which we both have family and friends that live in Florida, which I hope you guys are okay, but... Yeah, well, I've, I've heard from three of them. So, Tampa, Fort Myers, and Sarasota, they're all okay. A lot of water damage, but they're they're okay. But it's still going through. They said that's actually going to be the most damaging at midnight tonight because it's a slow-moving hurricane. And you probably got a cold front moving in, too, at that time. So. Uh, I don't know. My uncle and cousins live there, and they said they got tree damage, tree falling down, the roofs are ripped off, they're out without power, they're flooding. So Yeah. Um I kinda envy them honestly. I wanna experience a hurricane. That'd be awesome. How would it be awesome? You get blown by freaking wind and rain. Because I'm white, I guess. He likes being out in it. <laughs> yeah. But they're saying that people that live in module homes out there Bye bye. Which is everybody. Now I was talking to my mom about that. They're not going to like, stand the wind. How does that make sense putting trailer parks in Florida? That's so dumb. Yeah. Why? Yeah. All right. Oh, I don't Lord. think they can withstand that wind. That's like living in tents in Tornado Alley in Oklahoma with, <laughs> with no basement <sighs> or no cellar to go into. Makes no sense. No. Anything else you want to talk about? My mind is fried today after work, so I can't really think of anything other than what we just talked about. Um, there's been no word yet on our Illinois. Yes, there has. I haven't heard anything. You gotta look it up. We'll make another video about it. So they're like retracting everything about that and coming out with a bunch of new shit. Oh, the best about this is, okay, so I made a TikTok video about it. And when ignorant people make comments, I don't even acknowledge or reply or say anything to people. But this one dude who doesn't even live in Illinois was saying, we're reading it all wrong. We have to look at the fine prints. That's what I'm talking about. You do. They changed it. You got to look at the fine print. <laughs> well, where's the fine bad. print to it's look not, at? It's not as bad as you think it is. Where's the, where's the fine print? I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I want to see it. But yeah, so everyone's squawking about, you know, what Adam said, we have to read the fine, well, what's the fine print? It's something of, I don't know, I don't want to. I mean, you heard the guy on TV. You got your phone, look it up really quick. What is it? It's a safety act, Illinois. We had live people, or people on live TV in the police departments all around. He literally said, we can't protect you. We have to let these people out of jail. So what's the fine print out of that? That's what I'm saying. They've changed it since then three times. I just told you that. I haven't heard any news break on it. So all I've heard was that people were suing Prickster. That's all I've heard. More and more people keep trying to sue them. Good. They should. They'll come up with something else after that, though, if this gets overturned. Okay. Several of these charges as a forcible felony offense where a judge could withhold pre-trial release. Under the state criminal code, those offenses include treason, first-degree murder, second-degree murder, predatory criminal sexual assault of a child, aggravated criminal sexual assault, criminal sexual assault, robbery, burglary, residential burglary, aggravated arson, arson, aggravated kidnapping, kidnapping, aggravated battery, resulting in great bodily harm or permanent disability or disfigurement. You have a problem? You Are you just reading so fast? <laughs> <laughs> and any other felony which involves the use or threat of physical force or violence against any individual. If the defendant charged with a non-probational forced felony offense possesses a specific, real, and present threat to any person or the community, a judge could order the individual to remain behind bars. However, for cases eligible for probation such as aggravated battery, burglary, second degree murder, and more, this standard would not apply. So they're saying they still can come and arrest them then? Yes. Well, they can still stay behind bars. It's going to be up to the judge. If they feel that they're a threat, they're going to stay behind bars. And at first it wasn't that. And now everyone was pissed off about it and freaking out. And 
Now they're saying it's misinformation, some fake news. Which, no, they're just trying to cover their ass. They realize how stupid it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, they were on TV. And even they were saying, we can't help you. We cannot protect you. And the one guy said, I'm going to let out 60 murderers out of the jail. He was freaking out. That's why they were... Here's the one I think it is. One such clip shows Orland Park Mayor and U.S. Illinois House District 6 candidate Keith Pacow, whatever, describing what the bill means in its con con constituents in the Chicago suburb. The Republican made several claims regarding the bill, including preventing law enforcement from removing trespassers from a residence or place of business. Fact, the bill's only explicit mention of trespassing refers to trespass of vehicles, but still applies due to the s degree of the crime. Typically listed as a Class B misdemeanor, a change for criminal trespassing can lead up to six months in jail or a $1,500 fine. Being a Class B misdemeanor, Section 109-A, 109-1A-1 says law enforcement should issue a citation in lieu of custodial arrest, but only if the suspect is, again, not deemed by a judge as a threat to the community or if they have any medical or mental health issues that pose a risk to their own safety. If a suspect qualifies for pretrial release, they are scheduled to return to court within 21 days. So then, yes, they can arrest them because in order to go before a judge, the judge, the person has to be arrested. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, they're doing a lot of backpedaling. They didn't like that a lot of people, I guess they assumed they weren't going to pay attention to this. Probably hoping no one would. This is, again... To save Prisker's dumb fat ass so he can get elected again. And I... <laughs> nope. <sighs> not. So yeah, it's not as bad as you're trying to make it seem, but still don't want to be here. This state still sucks. Yeah. I mean, if it's not this, like we would mentioned before in our other videos, it's going to be something else down the road. And again, they're saying that probably just to cover their ass. doesn't mean they're going to do it. It could still be like the purge. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about that your mother shared with us. They are going to be raising the gas prices 66% this winter. 66%. 66%. Are you surprised? I think that's nationwide, though. That's not just state. That's nationwide. But still, I mean... So they don't tax us enough as it is. <laughs> so in the winter here in Illinois, we're screwed because we get very cold winters, blizzards, snow, you name it, sleet, ice, snow, whatever. And then... Even thunderstorms. Yeah, we even, yeah, you're right. And then, so we're going to have the price of gas for that to use our heater. For those that have gas heaters, which is pretty much the majority of every house owner or house, people live in a house. And then you have to, you know, gas up your vehicle. So then there's double your pain, not only to heat up your home, now it's going to be to heat, you know, to gas your, your, your car, right? It's in right now, we're just, you know, we've had the uh, electric, or I can't talk, the AC on. So our gas bill has been like 30 bucks. It's going to go up 66%. <laughs> so, I mean, so between trying to heat our home and gas our vehicles, we're going to have to work like three jobs just to, you know, cover gas and all. Because not only do you need gas for to heat your house, you need it to shower. You need it to do dishes. You need it for so many other things than just heating up your home. I cook with gas. We have natural gas stove. So I was, I told my daughter and I told my mom and I told his mom, we need to all order those electric uh, fireplaces that look like it's a fake fireplace, but it puts out a lot of heat and try to cut down on using the heater. Although we are an upper level, so all the heat will rise. So it shouldn't be that bad up here. It's us downstairs in our basement. Bedroom is going to suck for you. Crazy man over here, negative 55, no shirt on, no socks, undies, is in heaven, and I'm in bed, 
like this with five blankets freezing because I freeze all the time. So I hate being hot. Summer sucks. I hate being cold. Winter sucks. I'd rather be hot than cold. So, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. So, oh, you should say um, about that thing you showed me, uh, that lady talking about how we should all go electric. That's on my YouTube. You not watch my videos? I know, but we should Apparently talk about not. it. It's funny. It's old. But still. Let's go watch it. <laughs> I actually was going to bring it up anyway. It yeah. was kind of stupid. It was, it was AOC talking about, it was like a year or two, I think it was two years old, when the hurricane season was hitting. It's like, oh, there's all these people rushing to the gas, to, or the gas stations to fill up on gas before their power goes out. If we'd all just go electric, they wouldn't <laughs> have this problem. And what are you going to do? When, uh, what? What? If the power goes out and they can't get gas, how much do you think you can power up your electric car when the power's out, you fucking dumbass? Dumbass. <laughs> I mean, no sense. I mean, she's smart in the way to getting these dumbass people to believe her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I can't <laughs> believe how exponentially dumb. Mm. Like, I always knew people were dumb to begin with, but it's that, an all new high. Yeah. Before the electric goes out. So if your power goes out, make sure you're charging your car. Because you're not going to be able to get gas when the power's out. <sighs> I'm confused. Anything else you have to add? <laughs> I think that's it. Um, I just wanted to say that all day today when I was working, we you know about our neighbor we were talking about. Our hillbilly neighbor. Our hillbilly neighbor today was running some loud machinery, and my office has to be right off of his backyard. And all I heard all day was him and whoever screaming over the loud machinery sound. He has so much wood over there, you think he's building a freaking second arc. So I got to hear the and then hey like all day my dogs were being assholes they wanted to go out every second because they heard the dipshits next door plus their dogs were out so yeah it was a very fun my job is 98% mental and so to have that I mean even if I turned on the radio I would have the radio the machinery and him screening so nothing was helping me today concentrate so I had to like focus in and um, might work a lot so yeah I can't wait to move away from here speaking of which we think we found maybe one out of three places we'll move to I thought two Virginia Virginia one of the Carolinas mm -hmm. and Wisconsin maybe oh yeah Cedar Shorewood no, Shorewood had a 1%. Cedarwood or Cedar whatever had absolutely no Who crime cares? rate. I want to be on Lake Michigan. If we're there moving were, there, I'm moving to Lake Michigan. But there wasn't many places to rent or to no. build or to buy. Remember? They said there wasn't many places around there. I don't know what you talk talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I found a bunch of places for sale. And that was only, what, an hour and a half away from here? Mm -hmm. Which isn't bad because then our families are still close, not 15 hours away. And Virginia and Carolinas are both 15 hours. Although, I'm sure wherever we move, our family will move with us. I know your mom and my kids will, but... Oh, I forgot about your kids. I have grandkids and I have a daughter, so... They can't live without me. Yeah, you have... Daughter, two granddaughters, and two a, granddaughters. And a daughter in law. Oh my god, do not listen to him. What? You're mean. Elena, Ev, Gianni, Gavin. All females. <sighs> and you want to marry me? You know, if you marry me. I didn't say I did. Nope, I just have this ring on for no reason. All right, we'll see you guys later.